Liam, we exit the Emirates FA Cup on penalties. How are you feeling? Yeah, not great, to be honest. Um, yeah, look, it's a mixed feeling right now, I think. Uh, emotionally, there's obviously a huge amount of pride in the performance level um, and the fact that we've come here and finished the much stronger side. Um, but obviously, you know, frustration again that we're saying the same things around terrific performance, but not then putting them to bed. You know, the not just in the, the second half of extra time, but you know, throughout the game, there were so many times we got into to, to really good areas again and, and, and you know, didn't didn't finish the chances off or you know have enough quality on that final action which is the, the bit we're chasing at the minute so overall uh, super proud really feels like a lifetime ago when Divock Origi opened the scoring early on but the shy side really great characters to get back level quite quickly yeah it's in the group you see that they're they're all in on what we're doing they you know they, they run as hard as they can they compete as you know as hard as they can so we've had to do it before and we've shown we can do it again Again, I think it speaks volumes, the fact that, like I said, we're away at the Premier League side and we're the team that finishes the much stronger side in the second half of extra time, you know, created three unbelievable moments, which with the, the players that had the opportunities, you'd expect one of them to take, you know, at least one of them. So, yeah, it, it, tough one. It's easy to say after 120 plus minutes that your side worked really hard. And not, not that they didn't, but technically, tactically, the lads were excellent, weren't they? Yeah, and we, we obviously changed and went with a back four tonight. So, again, we made a few changes. Hayton came in and did well. Kingy did well. Um, you know, and the changing system, but it, the, the, you know, what it looked like and the performance and the control didn't change, which you know, I think it shows how we're working now. You know, there, there was real clarity, I think, in terms of, you know, the structure that we're creating, that players coming in that haven't played knew their roles and knew what was expected of them. So, again, I think, you know, that's evidence of the good work that's being done, you know, both by the players and by the staff. So... We have, to, we have to make sure that now we transfer that back into the league. I think that's the biggest bit. You know, is to a certain extent there's there's less expectancy on us tonight. There's a little bit less pressure. You know, when you when you get back into the league, that's where we now have to hit that performance level because if no, can't we can't keep continuing to perform at that level and not win. A lot of sides come to Premier League sides and they sit back and, and they defend and they try and try and nick something. But we really didn't do that tonight. We had the chances and and we really took it to the game, took the game to Forest. Yeah, I thought I thought we did. It showed really good control. I thought with with and without the ball, even you know the later stages where the lads are exhausted, sitting in block, but being comfortable in block. Which again we've spoken about since coming in. You know phases of the game, understanding your role in all of them. And we, you know we sat in block well, we pressed well at times. Um, and then we, I thought we managed the game really well with the ball. I think that was the biggest bit. Even you know, like I say, it's not very often that you'd, you'd see a Championship side come to a Premier League side and be you know the, the dominant team in the second half of extra time like we were. A really cruel way to exit the FA Cup. I imagine it's a very quiet dressing room at the moment, but there must be an immense sense of pride and confidence going into Saturday. Yeah, after you know, obviously everyone's going to talk about the, the missed penalty, but I would say I thought Belly was outstanding tonight. I thought it's the best he's, best he's played since we've been here. I thought he showed, you know, a real directness, a real you know positive mindset. I thought he got out people. You know, he he ultimately got us to penalties with a tackle he makes on the back post late on. So I, I was delighted with Belly tonight. I thought he was terrific. So. I think, you know, him and the team, we have to, you know, like like I said, the, we, have, we have to take this into the league now. We have to be clear in, in what that looks like and be able to transfer it back to the league. It is a quick turnaround now before a long trip to Middlesbrough. Is it just a case of recovering and getting ready between now and then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's mad that it goes to extra time tonight, to be honest. It should just go straight to penalties. I think, you know, neither team wanted to go to extra time, given what, what schedules we've got. And, you know, when you look at the, the programme we're in at the minute, it's so full on. That will be a, an extremely late return, obviously, back, back to Bristol. So we'll, we'll get back maybe two, three in the morning and then we have to get in. We have to recover tomorrow because we're straight back up to Middlesbrough on Friday. So it's a, you know, it's a tough, it's a challenging period, but you know, they, we, we have to be ready. The game's there. We have to make sure we, we do the work properly and you know, we get ready to go up there and perform at that level. And finally, a word on supporters. It was very much your team's performance that silenced the city ground for much of the game, but the fans from our end were loud throughout the 120 minutes yeah incredible you know despite being outnumbered massively noise energy atmosphere staying at the end I think you know they really appreciated what the lads did tonight um, so yeah unbelievable support so huge thank you and yeah wish everyone a safe journey back that support can really carry, carry you over the line unfortunately didn't tonight but it builds those connections it strengthens those connections and can really help in the long run yeah definitely definitely we want to build on it you know, I think that, that that's really important that for me that you know we, we, we build on that connection and the relationship we have with the fans and like I said that comes through the, the performance level and you know we knew we weren't at the level that you know we had to be on Friday against Leeds and you know tonight we were at the level um, so again I, th I think fans you know understand that and get that and 
you know, like I said the other day, I think, you know, hopefully they can see that, you know, the, the progress that we're making and the way we're going about things.